And now, your first alert five weather. All right, checking our CDOT cameras at I-25 and Raton Pass and Levita Pass at Highway 160. Looks like the roads are just wet right now, but we are anticipating some slick spots, especially on Highway 160 and I-25, really just over Raton Pass. And this is where we do have some winter alerts for this storm that we've got with us today. The wet mountains, the sand grays under a winter weather advisory and purple winter storm warning in pink. We could see up to the maybe half a foot range in the purple zone and maybe up to a foot in the mountain tops in the pink zone. And these will expire either at midnight or 3 a.m. tonight as these showers continue to push southward. So we are seeing a good amount of rainfall elsewhere below about 7,000 feet in elevation. So good dose of moisture, especially south of Highway 50 is where we have better coverage of showers this afternoon. And we have a secondary burst of some rain, probably a wintry mix into northeastern uh, El Paso County at this hour. So we got a few spots of shower activity. It will transition more so to snow overnight to about 6,000, maybe as low as 5,000 feet in elevation very briefly. But these are going to end pretty quickly here by 3 a.m. These showers are done, but it's areas in our southern mountains that will pick up a burst of precipitation here in the next about eight hours. So a couple inches for our mountain valleys. Again, it's mostly the mountain tops that are going to see the accumulation. Maybe a dusting up to an inch or two towards the Pikes Peak region and into Woodland Park Monument area. So this is our storm that's going to push out quickly. Tomorrow through Friday, we've got high pressure taking over and we're going to be in for some warmer conditions. And then Saturday is our next cold front and that storm looks to track pretty far north, keeping us on the dry side. But we'll continue to monitor it. Temperature wise, we're definitely cooler today, below average. We're in the 30s and 40s or some 50s hanging out in the eastern plains. Tonight we'll drop to mostly the 20s, a couple of low 30s. So definitely grab your jacket as you head out the door tomorrow. But tomorrow we're going to have a lot more sunshine. We're going to see the temperatures still on the cool side will be below average by a few degrees, but it will be comfortable enough with the sun. Then we really start to warm up Wednesday, 50s, 60s and 70s and lots of sunshine. And we continue this warming trend as high pressure takes over. 70s in store for Thursday, Friday, and then that next storm arrives on Saturday, gives us a burst of wind as it blows through and it will cool us down back to the upper 50s. A little warmer Sunday, but still on the breezy side for Pueblo 60 tomorrow with more sunshine. 70s return on Wednesday, so close to 80 by Friday. And then we've got that windy cold front arriving for Saturday, takes us back down to seasonable mid 60s. For Canyon City, breezy still tomorrow, but the sun comes out, will rise to 58. 10 degree warm up on Wednesday to 68, then 70s for you Thursday, Friday. Windy with this weekend's cold front. And for Woodland Park, a little breezy and chilly tomorrow, but we'll see awfully comfortable conditions by the mid late half of the week 60s for Thursday Friday and then with Saturday's front we could have some brief light snowfall.